All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Uh, we're going to try to get to, I think, the next boss, because, unbelievably, we have another boss fight coming up. Uh, it's also not that difficult of one, but something interesting happens. In it. Uh, but before we do that, we got to take care of ourselves. So, there is a door over to, I believe it's, I, let me double check here. Eastern door near, nearby, there's a path over here, and there's an X-Potion in here. I am using a guide, by the way, because I'm trying to 100% this game to the best of my ability. But, uh, there's definitely the chance I'm going to miss a thing or two, and for that I do have to apologize. But, um, that being said... I'm doing the best I can. Uh, let's see, this should be the ether, yes. And if we come up here, we should be able to find either the flint or the withered bouquet. That looks like the withered bouquet to me. So now we're just looking for ingredients to be able to start a fire here. And if we go down here, we should be able to find a high potion as well. Ooh, come on now. That looks like the chest with the high potion. Sure is. And, uh, so we have the Withered Bouquet, but now we gotta find the Flint. <laughs> I know that sounds a little redundant, but, I mean, that's what you gotta do. We gotta find it. Uh, let's see here. There is a save sphere, which I will go ahead and save my progress. Uh, is this the right save slot? Hold on. Uh... Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Not like it actually matters. The other two sl slots, like, are from I, when I played this game, like, I think I played it once in, like, 2015 and then once in 2016, so... It's actually been a couple of years since I've sat down and played this game through in its entirety. And, uh, what really got me inspired to play this game again was Nintendo Capri Sun. I've been, uh, watching him in his playthrough of this game for... Um, a while now, or actually not really watching it, I've been listening to it, because I work a, like a 9 to 5 style job for the summer right now, it's my internship, I like a 9 to 5 style job for the summer right now, it's my internship, and I work in, a, in, a, in an electrical engineering firm, and I, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been um, listening to that in the background as I've been doing my work, and it's, it's helped tremendously with the amount of boredom that I occasionally feel at the office. I love my job and all, but I'll tell you what, having something entertaining to listen to in the background makes a big difference, and it is so huge having Nintendo Capri Suns, just a vast library of stuff food. to listen to in the background. I need food! And his, uh, that <laughs> that's a reference from his other LP that's really what funny. Want? Um, <laughs> it was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that. It's been ten years. I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. But yeah, I've been listening to Nintendo Capri Suns play through this game, and that got me really inspired to, to sit down and play this game again for YouTube, just because, like, it's such a, a, a beautiful hey, game, and wait, it's, it's very, wait. very fun, and Don't go out on me. I just enjoy it. Now, what's going to be different just between this game and the, the one that he played is that I'm playing with the uh, Expert Spear Grid, which is actually an easier Spear Grid. Like, by far, it's much easier. Much, much easier. Alright, and this boss is... Alright, and this boss 
is named Click. K-L-I-K-K. -K. Kind of a weird one. And as opposed to the last two bosses, this one is not percentage based, which means this guy can actually kill you. So we actually need to kind of keep an eye out for our HP and just make sure that we don't, you know, get into very, very low territory. Otherwise, uh, things are not going to go well. And uh, we, we can legitimately die on this guy. Now, we've actually kind of gotten a little bit blessed here because we've um, not done... Well, we've done quite a bit of damage to him, but he's only hit us one time. So it's actually been pretty okay so far. Now, what the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? Well, well, well. Who do we have here? Somebody that's gonna help us. You on my side? Cool! Alright, using grenades. Certain items like grenades have special effects when used. These items uh, <laughs> can only be used during battle by selecting the special ability you use. And it's funny because they teach you this, but you're after this fight, and after a, well, not after this fight, but after a couple more fights after this, you're almost never gonna end up using this character. Um, Riku is her name. She does show up a little bit later on in the story, but, well, actually, you know, I completely retract my previous statement, because you do use her, but you don't use her in the same way that you might think you would. Um, like, right now, we're just using her purely for throwing grenades and stealing, which... That is like half a roll, because she is the thief in this game, but there's there's much more to it than that. And look at this, we actually earned some AP. So now we actually have the ability to like do leveling. Just kick the microphone on accident, sorry. That was close. Hey, let me go. Redek Drak. Ifin, Irisa, Tekiaka. Fuck, it a coup. For Gamed? Fab! So the language we can't really understand here. If we pet it, for we neck it for drink. Kuno. And we're done. That was actually sorry in Albed. As it turns out, if you collect all the Albed primers, you, you actually can use a special sphere. Um, in the early game on your next playthrough that will allow you to play through the full game having already known what the uh, all the different Albed letters stand for, which is actually like a really, really cool feature. Kid, did die job. Hey, that hurts! Musujek, right? Whoa. Okay. Definitely excited for whenever there's a little bit less cutscene action, which there's unfortunately a lot of them really early on in this Penis. game. Right, whatever. Do we hood kabeg? I said I don't understand. Akunala! Fed! He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? All right, I'll work. 
That face of realization when he's like, wait, you understand me? So if we come over here, though, uh, we don't want to miss this. You can pick it up later, but you just don't want to miss it. This is the first Albed primer. Secrets of the Albed language are revealed. Y goes to A. Introduction to Albed. Find Albed primers to help you decipher the strange Albed language. Uh, I don't know what that says. Titus has achieved the rank of Albed Hujela. And we'll go ahead and save our game here. There is, I believe, an achievement for collecting all 26 Albed primers. I could be wrong. But we actually want to collect all 26 Albed primers anyway, um, just so we can have the language complete. And I actually think we need all of them to be able to unlock uh, one of the sigils, if I recall, but I could be wrong, um, that you'll need for the Celestial oh, almost forgot. Using the Spirit. I kind of hate this. They kind of force this tutorial on you. Um, and there's no way you can skip it, so I'm just gonna kind of mash through it just because I've seen this a million times, and it's frankly more intuitive just to kind of figure it out yourself, but the the basic premise is that uh, as opposed to earning experience that would automatically level you up, you earn AP, which will go towards these spear points, which will allow you to move through the sphere grid, and once you have... Um, Ability spheres, magic spheres, uh, power spheres, all these other kind of spheres, they can activate these nodes on this grid, which will then power up your character. It's, it's a pretty easy system, but it's kind of complicated in that the sphere grid is huge. It's, it's, a, it's a big thing to go through, and to unlock everything there is to unlock, there's, there's quite a lot that you have to do for it. And actually, way later on in the game, there's a, a trick that you can do that will allow you to skip through a, a big grind. Although it's not until the later game, but in order to like max out everybody's sphere grid and get everything unlocked, there is a trick that you'll eventually be able to get that will allow you to get effectively unlimited AP. But look at that. I mean, this is a big thing we're looking at. So. Now I can go ahead and do this to myself. Now, this sphere grid is a little bit different. Um, so, as opposed to some other, um, well, rather, as opposed to the basic sphere grid, this one starts you off uh, in a different spot. You get haste a lot earlier in this one. You can also get the ability to go for extract power, um, extract power, um, you can, instead of going down Titus's usual route, you can bring him down Orin's route, which is actually not such a bad option, but I'd rather keep him going down the exact same route that he usually is going down, um, just so he can get through things a little bit quicker here. Now, that's Provoke, which is... Kind of a useless ability. Let's see. Delay attack, that's... Eh, it's okay. It's it's kind of like quick hit, but better. And uh, not too much further down the line, we'll have the ability to get bribe, if we really want it. But let's see, is that slow? Yeah, it's slow. So anyway, you, you, you kind of get the, the basic point, is that you're, you're generally able to upgrade, um through the grid instead of through it doing auto leveling, which can sometimes be a little bit better, sometimes worse, but finish short uh, so that way I don't have to pause the cutscene in the middle. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you guys later.